Hey, in this video we are going to talk about web animation. According to Google, animation is the state of being full of life or vigor, liveliness. In fact, we can use that same definition on virtual objects on web pages or HTML elements in other words. Animation gives soul to web pages, it makes them alive which has a huge impact on the user experience, leading to more traction, more time spent by users on the website, therefore more opportunities to convert a big slice of simple visitors into paid customers. From 1991, when the first ever web page has seen the light, until the late 90s, the web was static, dead static, no animation, no interactivity, it was basically consisted of plain boring text and links, nothing more. Then, a big trend has hit the web, where graphics interchange format, aka GIFs, submerged almost every web page, and because they were essentially web's graphics standard, they were virtually guaranteed to work on every single browser. That trend though couldn't make it more than a decade before another monster had to come and conquer the world of the internet, named Flash Player, created by Macromedia and developed and distributed by Adobe Systems since Adobe acquired Macromedia in 2005. Flash animations were built in Flash or similar animating softwares, often distributed in SWF file format. They were lightweight, easy to make and included sound effects. Welcome to ZomboCon. This is ZomboCon. Welcome. This is ZomboCon. Welcome to ZomboCon. You can do anything at ZomboCon. Anything at all. The only limit is yourself. Plenty of bass, roll to the music and shaking real bad. I want them real thick and juicy. So find that juicy thing. However, that wasn't enough for Flash to live longer than its ancestor, since it was not well optimized and was therefore CPU hungry, which was problematic for smartphones and other devices. After Steve Jobs' declaration, which was basically the death sentence to Flash, web pages have known another period of peacefulness, until CSS3 has made it to the scene, and of course the introduction of HTML5 and JavaScript libraries, that was one of the biggest revolutions that the web has known.
Even though animation can bring so much value if done correctly, it can be deadly for a website for two reasons. A lot of animations can be irritating and break user's focus, forcing them to leave the website as soon as possible. They also can be expensive, depending on which property you are going to change. If you want to know more about animations and how to implement them using different techniques, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification, and see you in the next video.